Welcome back to Free ERP. My name is Haley, and today we will be covering part two of purchase order receipts. If you missed out on part one, you can find that video in the cards now or linked in the description box below. In this video, we are going to be going over more useful tabs in purchase order receipts. First, we'll discuss the receipt notes tab. If you've already seen our video on purchase order entry part one, this tab functions the same as the PO Notes tab. First, click the Add Note button. When the new window loads, enter a topic and then enter the note itself. At the bottom of the window, you can choose where the note will be available. Finally, click OK. In the lower part of the Purchase Order Receipts window, you'll see tabs such as Lot and Lot Slash Bin. Depending on whether or not your company uses these features, the tabs may be grayed out. These tabs are used to verify information in P21. Next, we'll go over Receive Substitute Items. This tab will let you receive a substitute item in place of an item originally ordered. At the top of the tab is the original item. Below that is the location ID and location description. Enter the substitute item ID in the field. The substitute description will auto-populate. From there, you'll enter the unit quantity and unit of measure. Finally, hit OK. Last but not least, we have the Receipt Issues tab. If you receive a shipment from a supplier that isn't correct, you record the error here. The columns you'll see are item ID, line number, quality issue, which is a drop-down of all of the issues defined by your company, quantity issue, which is a drop-down of all of the quantity issues defined by your company, issue UOM, issue quantity. Sometimes the issue doesn't need to apply to the entire line. Enter the affected quantity here. Lot is the same as issue quantity. If only a specific lot is affected, enter it here. Finally, you can enter any notes you have in the Notes field. Thank you so much for watching today's video on Part 2 of Purchase Order Receipts. If there's any section you would like to rewatch, you can find the timestamps in the description box below. Also, if you have any questions, be sure to leave us a comment. Before you go, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post new videos every Tuesday. And leave a like on the video if you found it helpful. Also, make sure to check out our blog, Freeing ERP, and social media, which you can find linked on screen and down below. See you in our next video.